and it is patch day so for global and na this is a no maintenance patch so one minute and we're done we're getting the wind beetle banner we're getting a new collection challenge we're getting new summoner pass and arena pass starting next week and the summoner pass unit will be the fire beetle knight which is a bit unfortunate i don't know why Comtes is doing this but he is a free unit from the book study so you're really not missing out if uh, you're not buying this thing. And yeah, uh, other than that, a few events. One year festival draw I already covered in the previous video last week. Uh, one year special crystal gift. It looks like we're getting this one quite early because Korea only got it uh, this week as well. You're basically just going to be able to claim a lot of crystals. I claimed it on Korea. I got like 11,000 and I don't even think my account is that old. So yeah, you do get quite a bit. Oh, it looks like, oh, the world can be claimed from 24. Oh, okay. So uh, enjoy this because you're going to be stuck with a gift notification popping up for a week and there's nothing you can do about it. Lovely system there. I don't know why they even implemented if the event doesn't work for a week, but sure. TOA event. And of course, don't forget that TOA reset today, so you can get some extra rewards there. Now, let's jump to the juicy content, the Korean update notes. And as you can see by the scroll bar, this is a huge one. So let's do this. And as always, we will be checking it out directly in Korea. And I just logged up and I can already see some changes looks like the background changed quite a bit a uh, very festive background yeah i'm gonna log in and i'm gonna see whether the city has changed as well but uh the first change we're getting is the first anniversary rune shop so this is another one uh event of the first anniversary you will be able to get uh various runes from these points and we're gonna check how they look in just a second okay one year rune shop by the way if you're not sure how to get these one year points uh you essentially collect the medals from this or by afking then uh, you use them here every time you use a medal you get one point so basically since the box costs 1500 every time you open one box you will get 1500 points and now one year shop okay so it looks like it's empty at first and we do the fresh all okay oh so oh oh my god look at this rune attack speed attack crit damage crit rate okay uh this is nice but i don't really need the struggles on this account endure i will use okay so i'm just gonna quickly test out what happens if i buy this okay so it's bought now and if i refresh it it costs a bit less to refresh it looks like we refresh and yeah so you no longer get one slot so oh my look at these runes you can get some good runes it's not sss tier as advertised there but yeah pretty solid event then we also have the first anniversary point exchange and we're gonna check it out in a second first anniversary point oh is that the event that will be available later on no it should be available now yeah so for a while i'm looking there is no one year exchange yet for whatever reason so we're gonna have to skip it but basically it looks like you will be getting uh various rewards and they're not that expensive look at these legendary light and dark skulls for only six thousand you already have way more points to purchase all of these most likely so yeah these should be super cheap and the rest of the points you look like you will be able to spend on the runes now the hill kingdom foundation festival oh okay event period after maintenance yep complete the quest prepared for each continent and enter the event dungeon now for this video i'll only be covering what they look like all of that like very surface level information and i'll go more in depth on all of these in uh future videos so okay so let's look at the content uh whoa oh i already hate this okay um I think it should be here. A Hill Kingdom Foundation Festival. So 
So wait, there's one reset for 14 days and then there's one reset for 7 days. Oh, okay. And yeah, looks like there's a lot of stages. What's this? Goblin Chief Food Storage. Aha, uh -huh. and you get Hog Transformation Potion. So yeah, these are the transmogs that you will be getting. Where you basically, you don't transmog a monster, you transmog yourself into the monster. And yeah, it looks like it lasts for one hour. And increases the drop rate of one year medals by 10%. <gasps> oh, so these are very useful for AFKing. That is interesting. Okay, and yeah, looks like five stages. Quest one, right? And there will be a lot of quests. Oh, look at that. Fargo's Nest. 200 energy. Oh, wow, different about Three scrolls. You get a lot of medals. You get a lot of medals here. Oh, wow, you get a lot of medals here. Okay. Let's see. How about... Nah, the, the final one doesn't show. What's this? Bugger's Hideout. 30 tickets. Again, a lot of medals. Wait. 6,000 medals for each miniboss. That's a lot of medals. That is a lot of medals. Just from this alone, you'll most likely be able to claim... Okay, Labyrinth Garden. Angel Mons. Again, half a million gold. What's this? Ah, uh, this looks like a regular stage. Yeah, look at that. Each stage gives you six... No, wait. 7.5k medals. Looks like trap stages give you 1.5k. And then bosses give you another 7.5k. Wow, this is big. And look at those repair stones. 70. 70 repair stones. Okay, yeah, this is a big one. This is a big one. Another event is Galagos Season Open Event. Why is Galagos here? Okay. Um, Galagos Season. This looks like an achievement event. Okay, defeat creatures. Uh, last for a month. Ah, so you basically just pass Galagos. You will be able to kill 240 easily. And you get some free rewards, yeah? Uh, 1,000 fire stones, 5 mysticals, a legendary scroll, 20 repairs. Cool, cool. Small mini event, I guess. And you know what I noticed? This is an achievement event and it has a duration. There could be a chance every Galagos rotation will be seeing a similar event like this. Just like we get with uh, TOA, right? Although, don't quote me on that. We'll have to see in the future. Oh, first anniversary costume. Uh, we should find it in the shop, right? Oh, wow. Oh, if you're interested in packs, I'll show it in just a second. But yeah, this is my Soleda. So, the hat. Alright. Um, the lack of melonium is a bit low. Okay, let's check out the packs real quick. Um, one year special. One year free package. Free package. One scroll. 111 energy per day. This is once per day. <gasps> oh, okay. One year gratitude package. Once per account for 100 crystals. You get two scrolls. 20,000 gold. 10 tickets. Oh, it's a tiered pack. It's a tiered pack. Second one. Five mystical scrolls. 20 tickets. Yes. 10 event scrolls, 40 tickets, yes. And 1 devil one and 80 tickets for 1.2k. Beautiful pack, beautiful pack. Now for other packs, 1 year summon package, like this. 45 scrolls on this one. 95, mystical scroll, what? Hello, come to us. Okay, fair enough. Uh, 105, yeah, I think this is meant to be light and dark scroll, just the name is wrong. Because it's, as you can see on the item, I have zero. And I definitely have more mystical scrolls. <laughs> 115 and Transcendence. And the last one is free. 300 quick battle tickets. Sure. And the last pack is 20 times per week. Jesus, who's going to buy that many? Fair enough. And here, Super Weak Legend. What is this? 15 legendary scrolls and a blessing marvel. Oh, okay, so yeah, that was the packs. Okay, first anniversary event. Uh, Festival Island will be added. It is divided into monster candy and treasure hunt events. And you can enter after maintenance. Yep, uh, you can enter the festival through the portal on Kaslan. 
the field schedule yeah so every day uh half an hour for killing monsters and treasure hunt for two hours looks like just opening treasure boxes and is there any more info about this mm -hmm. okay so let's check it out so this is the treasure hunt it looks like it happens for me in seven minutes look at that we'll actually try it out perfect and yeah uh two hours you need to acquire one aurora starlight in order to complete it and you get an aurora cube and looks like this one will probably hold items from blue tier to purple tier i'm guessing uh we're gonna walk there while we read the rest and yeah uh the other event looks like the what was it? Uh, the monster clearing. So let's check that one. Okay, and the monster clearing one looks like participation award is 500 or rather uh, 50k gold. First, second, third place. Uh, you know what? The rewards aren't special. Uh, this one you can definitely skip. And the goal is defeat one amphitheater creature. So yeah, basically just... Although if you... Ranking reward though, it looks like you will need to collect ranking interesting interesting okay so if you want to participate in that one sure doesn't look like to an op of one but these treasure boxes quite interested to see what we get from those and we'll test them out in like five minutes so keep on watching as uh, i will be making a break to check uh, that out okay and the first anniversary summon to commemorate the first anniversary a summon event where you can select a summon target for a rate increase will be added okay and is this like a blessing uh regardless of whether or not you have a summon you can select a summon with higher rate and use the first anniversary thanks someone scroll it Ooh, and you get one light and dark for each 30 summon wait and oh wow look at that background wait 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 so we can select any unit any unit at all well uh not light and dark of course Ooh, okay let me see what i need okay let's say i want this guy i already have him but i do want to increase his uh, book levels so select monster okay um so he's there now let's check probabilities so let me see a regular scroll where can i check a regular oh, i have the blessing here i cannot check but i think okay let's see the date he has 50% so I'm guessing it's gonna be like 0 0.0076 or something um where are you where are you oh 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 my god this is like a banner better than a banner actually 0.5% for each scroll yeah so it's almost like a banner and we're gonna summon I mean this isn't this is just too easy I, this event is just too easy okay and yeah you can just summon continuously so you basically get a free banner that's sick and in the turn you also get a light and dark scroll that's beautiful that's beautiful nice i love that scroll and you're gonna get what like three good 300 so you're pretty much guaranteed to get any monster that you want i mean on average right because you on average you should get a one at five from 200 for that Okay, first anniversary shop. Summoner transformation potion is added. Using the transformation potion, you can transform into little Naraka and various other monsters. Yeah, so we saw that you need to get those potions from that little maze thingy. And was this added transformation for young bird Harpo? You can get it for the first anniversary points exchange shop. Again, that shop doesn't seem to be open just yet, so we'll have to see in the future. Summoner skill artifact. Oh boy. Okay, artifacts. So these are most likely gonna be game breaking. So yeah. Artifacts are added to the summons information screen. You can move by touching the area or enter through the artifacts in the entire menu. The list of grade hero grade artifacts are as follows. Okay, so before we check the artifacts, let us see where we can find them. Okay, artifact. Apply a special skill to events. Most I can equip artifacts to gain stats and special skill effect. Let's find out more. Do these give power though? I do love my power. Equip an artifact. It increases attack, defense, and HP. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, so your type needs to match. Manage artifacts. I do not have any so far. 
combine disassemble and let me quickly see how we can i think they were in the crafting right processing somewhere there we go oh okay so you can craft these with rune pieces basically so save your rune pieces uh i'm not gonna craft them right now i will make a separate video on those but yeah so it looks like one costs 100 then this one costs three earlier so 300 for this one 900 for this one and you need two so 1800 to craft one purple ball and i'm guessing artifacts somewhere here because there's a new recipe or huh doesn't look like it what, what was new from alchemy oh oh it is an artifact wait a minute but these are only green ones right oh wait what hold up these are not the items that you craft these wait 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 these are not the items that you craft subjugation token exchange where are the artifacts artifact shard 50 right where else where else um date coin exchange which one 50 here oh 30 30 infinite so save your date tokens as well and last place where you can exchange is the battlefield shop and that is <gasps> oh hello wait where are the pieces though i'm not seeing the pieces but there are artifacts here oh wait these are night is this always night this one doesn't say night this one says night um okay let's try let's try buying it and okay there are oh it's just it, you can't even you can't even use it now how do i okay so i bought it where is it where's the, where's the artifact that i bought oh, not here well let me find oh before we find it, look at that so the ranks do actually reset it looks like See, uh, I am back to guard. I was like combat in two or three, but the requirements for it are way lower. So you need 430 for hero. Again, uh, these, I don't think these matter too much anymore. All right, let me see the shop real quick. Yeah, so these are like uh, Battlefield Nightmare. These do not matter because these are free now. These don't seem to matter. Yeah, so wow, so ranks were reset completely. Okay, let me now find this artifact. Oh, 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 found it. So it's in the general bag. Their artifact, equipped to a monster, use. Oh, so, okay, so I got a mage one. It gives 48 attack, 37 defense, 450 percent, or not percent, uh, 450 HP. Deals 10% more damage to enemies under a CC effect. That is pretty big. And if we go to the artifact, we go on any mage monster. Uh, sure, you will take it. Enhance. How much can we enhance? Let me see. Oh, that is... That's a decent buff. Okay, wait. So, interesting. And the power-ups, 300. Oh, that's where you need the ball. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, this is a blue tier, basically like the third tier. And you will need blue of these. To upgrade and yeah these are 15 of these are not expensive like 15 uh then you need 45 of these 135 of these so basically to upgrade one of those you will need 13.5k so you will definitely be able to get quite a few artifacts right as they come out as long as you have like close to a million of these stones uh saved up so yeah definitely not an issue but yeah we'll We'll delve deeper into the artifacts later on. Right now, we're going to read through the skills that they have. Okay, so these look like hero grades, so basically the strongest so far. Knight type units, uh, if there's no critical hit when taking a skill attack, there's a 100% chance to reduce the duration of debuffs by one second. Meh. Applying a stackable buff to a teammate, excluding yourself, increases the target's critical resistance. Ooh, that's really big for reducing damage. 
Our warrior types can get attack power increases by a certain amount for each HP lost and defense increases for HP lost as well. That's kind of cool, especially on stuff like uh, Wind Pond or something. Support types are Blessing, grants a revived teammate, shield equal to some HP for 8 seconds, sure. Uh, when applying a stack of buff to an ally, the duration is applied at 150%. <gasps> nah, that one is broke. Imagine you just give attack buffs to someone and it lasts 50% longer. Does not apply to protection runes. Yeah, yeah, sure. Nah, that, okay, this is OP. What? 150% duration. Control of duration. Applying crowd control to enemies now has a duration of 130%, bro. 30% longer CC. Oh, if if units like ISIS wasn't bad enough, yeah, just increase the duration by 30%. Nah, that is broken. Okay, wait, wizard type, wizard type. So this is mages, basically. For all mages. Wow, okay. Increases attack by 1000 to 1500 when own HP percentage 80% or higher, pretty much all the time. Casual 1.5k attack increase? Bloody hell. Sagittarius. Um, okay, let me see. Knight, Warrior, Support, Wizards, Sagittarius, so Archers, right? Uh, normal attack damage is increased by 20 to 40 percent but skill attack damage is reduced by 20 percent that's an interesting one uh i can see it working on units like maybe a Tessarian, a sharon yeah where their skills are pretty much there for the debuffs but the main damage you do comes from the well not for the Siren, but for units like sharon uh, i can see this you being very very good Optimal increases damage dealt to enemies by 10 to 20% if there are no debuffs and only buffs in arena and conquest battles. That was a weird one. Okay. Assassins penetrate 20 to 40% of target's armor, so defense, uh, when attacking a target with current ace hold percentage of 90% or higher. Ah, uh, that's not too bad. I mean, it only works when he's 90% or higher, so like. You drop him to 90 and then you're back to regular. So yeah, that's that's not good. And in Arena and Conquest Battles, at the start of the battle, increases their damage by 50 to 30% for 30 seconds, but decreases by 15% after 30 seconds. That's a very assassin-like uh, artifact. That For sure, for assassins, this will be the better one. So yeah, I will not go over all of them because I'm mostly interested in the higher tier ones. I will leave uh, a ability for you to stop the video and read through all of them right here. So these are the rare types you can feel free to post. So the first six are the other six. Then the magic grades. So oh, it looks like all of them fit. Ah, uh, yeah, looks like... So yeah, it seems like... Mostly the higher tiers have various skills. These look like just increase the stats. And the normal grade looks like it increases the stats only as well. And yeah, artifact can be strengthened, synthesized, disassembled through the artifact management button. Uh, the option value is fixedly increased for each element and the skill effect is enhanced for 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Oh, so basically these increase as you power up. So this is probably at plus 0, plus 3, plus 6, plus 9, plus 12, plus 15. So these will be very easy to update. Wow, that's insane. But yeah, we'll go, we'll go over the uh, artifacts in a separate video because there's a lot to cover here. Yeah, there's the recipes as well. Next, our guild. So this cog, display of the guild breakthrough, ranking pop-up menu. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, there we go. Guild Energy Tower, where you can acquire energy. A message is added to the guild chat when construction is completed and the building is leveled up. You will acquire energy according to the previous day's contribution level. <gasps> oh, and the level of the Guild Energy Tower building. If you install an Energy Tower of the update day... Okay, so the costs seem to be normal wood 20, magic core, carpentry hammer. We'll check these items in a second. Doesn't seem too insanely difficult. But yeah, oh, that is interesting. Based on contribution. Oh, oh, okay. So we go to Guild Town. 
I mean, my guild is semi-active. I think we're able to max out the contribution fully by like the end of the day. So guild energy tower. Let us see. It's currently at level zero. So I don't think we are even able to get any. And yeah, you can donate. Okay, so 10 normal lobber. 20 magic faint cores, one hammer. So again, you're only able to do like five per day since these are limited to five per day in crafting. Requirement, you need guild level eight. Generate four energy per contribution level achieved. And at max level, it goes, well, at level eight is 11 energy, level nine, 12 energy, and level Oh, level 9 is max at 12 energy. And contribution level, I'm guessing, means this. So basically, 1 level, 2 levels, 3 levels, 4 levels, and 5 levels. So I'm guessing you will be getting 60 energy per day once this is maxed out. So whether that's worth it for you or not is up to you to decide. And now we're going to go check out that new event. And yeah, while we're walking there, I've checked the rest of the changes. It looks like most of the stuff was either bug fixes, miscellaneous changes, quality of life changes, all of that. However, no like super important changes or new stuff came out. So basically, yeah, like uh, buffing, nerfing, uh, hero, oh, not hero, what's it called, mythic accessories, like various changes to equipment, all of that. This is worth mentioning, I think. Uh, you can now exchange a uh, live arena coins for challenge arena coins and i feel like this is very useful because uh you are able to buy the costumes in brawl arena quite easily but you will struggle buying them in challenge arena especially with the prices uh that you currently have so i think it should be in the shop somewhere right like if you buy a uh, joker pieces if you buy this this uh on top of that if you buy this now so the custom prices will be bit expensive and yeah it looks like you will be able to exchange uh these somehow what is this what used to the set the wisdom of attributes oh that's right because now they made it not resettable right or they made it yeah so be careful there it looks like they will do it unannounced kinda so don't split it up too much because once you do, uh, you will be losing quite a lot. Okay, so the event. Now, we will of course go to a separate channel with way less people. And if you're doing this event, once it comes out, make sure to do that because the main channel will always be filled. And looks like our goal is to find a treasure chest. I'm guessing these people are sitting on treasure chests that already respawn. Oh! Is that the treasure? No, it doesn't look like. Also, is there any treasure chests that I could find, please? Whoa, what is that metal? Why is there a metal at the top? Huh? Is that the treasure chest? What is that? Why is there a metal? Why is there one metal floating? Why can't I click on it and nothing happens? Oh my god, I'm so confused. Find Aurora Starlight in the treasure, but there are no treasures here. Okay, I'll keep looking. Okay, so I sat for five minutes. I tried to look around a bit as well. I don't know what these medals mean, but from what I could see, I also changed the channels a few times. There's literally nothing spawning. So, uh, whoa, wait, second minute. What? But yeah, um, Absolutely nothing is spawning. I'm not getting any progress to my uh, field event thingy. So basically, good job on making an event where literally nothing happens. Um, what's that mean? Like, we will disappoint you. Uh, everything is amazing. But I don't know what you're doing with this one. But yeah, that's about it. For this one, I will be covering all of the new stuff a little more in depth in the future videos starting tomorrow most likely and yeah peace